This music tutorial is about constructing major scales. Now there are several different ways to construct a major scale and we're going to just focus on one way each time we do one of these tutorials. So this tutorial is focused on using a formula to construct a major scale. Now everybody learns differently. Everybody processes information in a different way. So if this way doesn't work for you, check out the next tutorial or the one after that and that may help you understand constructing a major scale everything together will definitely reinforce your knowledge about this subject so you know just watch this video absorb it the best you can practice you have to practice this stuff and then view the next tutorial so you get another view of how a major scale is constructed and in the end it's going to help you understand those scales better as well as the construction of other scales that you will eventually be dealing with so here is the first music tutorial on constructing major scales using a formula. So we're going to start with what many consider the easiest major scale, the C major scale, and it's considered the easiest because it has no sharps or flats in it. So if you look at your keyboard down below, you'll see that it is all white keys going from C to C, no sharps, no flats. So we want to begin by plotting all of our notes on our staff. And this is step one of constructing a major scale. Put all the notes in, every line, every space, between your starting note and your ending note, which should be the same. So we're going from C to C. So we start with C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then C. Now, we have all of our notes in our scale for one octave from C to C. Again, all lines and spaces. We're going to analyze the space between each note to get a formula out of it. All right, so we need to look at first C to D. So look down at your keyboard and you'll see that it takes two half steps to get from the note C to the note D. And two half steps equals a whole. So we put a W in in between C and D on our scale. Now from D to E is also two half steps. That's the distance. So that's a whole step. So we put a W in between D and E. Next, we have E to F. That is only a half step, so we're going to draw an H in between the E and the F. So we have whole, whole, half so far. Next, we have F to G, which is a whole step. G to A, which is a whole step. A to B, which is a whole step. And then finally, B to C, which is a half step. And now, if we review what we just did, we have our formula, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And that is the formula for a major scale. And you can apply that formula to any major scale and it will work out. So start on any note, G, F sharp, B flat, doesn't matter. You apply that formula, you will get the major scale starting on that note. Now, just to prove our point, let's try a different starting point. So we're gonna erase our C scale here and we're going to start on G. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Again, going from G to G, we put in all of our notes. We don't have to put any sharps or flats yet, but we've at least got all of our notes plotted. So from G to G, one octave. Let's analyze. So G to A requires two half steps. So that's a whole step we put in our W. A to B is a whole step. B to C is a half step, put in the H. C to D is a whole step. D to E is a whole step. E to F is a half step. And then F to G is a whole step. Now compare that with the formula we set up previously, the whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Does it match up? No. The last two intervals are reversed. So what we need to do is adjust a note to correct it. And we can see that we need a half step between F and G. So we need to adjust one of those notes. We can't adjust the G because that's the name of the scale. So we can't change the name of scale, we need to adjust a different note, so we have to move to the F. We can bring the F 
closer to the G so that we create the half step. So let's put a sharp onto F because we need to raise that note to get it closer to G. So now we have F sharp to G, which is a half step. We've also fixed the problem between E and F by raising it to an F sharp. That was a half step. We've now created a whole step because E to F sharp requires two half steps. And now it's a whole step. So we solved that problem. Now we have our formula, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay. Let's do one more scale, and this time, let's use flats. Okay. So, we can start by plotting in our scale, like we did before, starting on F. And again, go F to F, put in all the notes, every line, every space. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F. So we have all our notes in the one octave F scale. Is it a major scale? Well, let's review. Let's look at our intervals. So F to G is a whole step. G to A is a whole step. A to B is a whole step. B to C is a half step. C to D is a whole step. D to E is a whole step. And E to F is a half step. So looking back at our formula of whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, do we satisfy the formula? No, we don't. Now the problem is in the middle of the scale. So we see that it should be whole, whole, half in the beginning, but we have three holes right in the beginning. So the space between A and B needs to change. And we need to adjust one of those notes. So if we look at the A, if we sharpen the A, and bring it closer to the B, it creates the half we need, but if you notice, it also pushes the A further away from the G that comes before it. And that takes away the whole step. That turns into three half steps, which is a different interval. We need to maintain that whole step between G and A. So we can't change the A. It has to stay there. So then we look at the B. If we lower the B, Let's say we put a flat on it. We now create the half step that we need between A and B. It's now A to B flat, a half step. It also corrects the half step that existed between B and C because that should be a whole step. So B flat to C is now a whole step. So now we have our whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half formula satisfied. And that is the formula for every major scale. Again, it works no matter what note you begin on. Any note, and you will get a major scale by applying that formula. Now stay tuned, because this is just one way of finding a major scale and writing it down. We're going to look at different ways in the next few tutorials to complete this process. Remember, in music, there's always more than one way to do things.